This is uh, one of the most important announcements in the past decades. It confirms, essentially, most of what has been done in physics. This year's prize is about something very small that makes all the difference. I'm rather surprised this happened in my lifetime. At CERN's foundation in 1954, the world of particle physics was a very different one. Scientists were trying to come to grips with the plethora of particles observed in nature. They lacked an overall framework to explain these basic constituents of matter and the forces that act upon them. This framework would later become known as the Standard Model. By the end of the decade, CERN physicists were already providing insights into the weak interaction, a force without which the sun would not shine. The 1960s saw the birth of electroweak theory, which unifies the weak and electromagnetic forces. A vital part of this is a mechanism that accounts for the vastly different ranges of these forces, as well as for particle masses. These were beautiful concepts, but they needed experimental evidence to back them up. Particle physicists embarked on a global search for the carriers of the weak force, W and Z bosons, whose existence would prove the theorists right. A major breakthrough came in 1973 with a discovery at the PS. The Gargamel experiment identified weak neutral currents, telltale signs of the existence of Z bosons. This groundbreaking result brought the first evidence for electroweak theory. Our physicists were on the right track, but direct detection of weak bosons would take another decade. In 1976, CERN brought the SPS on stream. Larger and more powerful than CERN's previous accelerators, the SPS would go on to collide protons with antiprotons. By 1983, SPS experiments had seen W and Z bosons. Their long-awaited discovery led to the Nobel Prize for CERN's Carla Rubia and Simone van der Meer. The discovery of the W and Z is not the end, it is the beginning. The next step began when LEP, the 27-kilometer Large Electron-Positron Collider, was switched on in 1989. It was designed to study weak bosons in detail. The LEP collaborations soon had their first major result. By measuring the decays of Z bosons, they found that nature has three, and only three, families of matter particles. Everything we see in the universe is made of the lightest family. During its 11 years of operation, LEP placed electroweak theory on solid experimental ground. The standard model was almost complete, but what accounted for the mass of particles? There was one last missing piece of the puzzle to uncover, the physical manifestation of the Brout-Englert-Higgs mechanism, a particle called the Higgs boson. Its discovery was in sight. With the construction of the Large Hadron Collider, CERN would take its first steps into a new century of discovery. Today is a special day. On the 4th of July 2012, the CMS and ATLAS collaborations announced the discovery of Higgs bosons. These results are the outcome of the ingenuity, vision and, and painstaking work of our community from accelerator to detector, instrumentation, computing and, and, and physics. We have observed a new, new boson with a mass of 125.3 plus or minus 0.6 GeV at 4.9 standard deviations. It was the final evidence the world had been waiting for, hitting headlines around the world, winning the Nobel Prize for Peter Higgs and Francois Angler, and cementing CERN's pivotal role in the development of the standard model. The Higgs boson completes the standard model, but many questions about our universe remain unanswered, mysteries that will captivate future generations of scientists and lead them to untold discoveries.